Hi, uh, my name is John Papavas Leo. I own and operate the Boardwalk Arcade in Wells, Maine. We have about 85 games here. We're near the beach, uh, seasonal business, open Memorial Day to Labor Day. Uh, before we had Amusement Connect, uh, me and my son would get here probably one to two hours before we opened and one to two hours after loading quarters, loading tickets, hauling tickets. Uh, it was, in hindsight, it, it sucked. Uh, kind of like an old school arcade near the beach. People always say, oh, we love quarters, we love tickets. We, uh, so we were pretty much, we're never gonna switch. Uh, then as ticket prices kept going up and labor costs kept going up, we did a cost analysis and figured we could switch over. We'd be saving money each year just on the paying the, the, the credit card fee and the amusement connect fee. It was still ahead of the game. Um, we went to IAPA last year, walked around, talked to a few vendors, weren't that impressed. Talked to a couple other owner operators that said, go talk to Amusement Connect. So we found you guys, talked to you guys, uh, immediately knew you were different. You guys were built for the operator, not the other way around. Um, I was hesitant at the beginning, the first day we opened, we immediately knew we made the right decision when it was the end of the shift and I realized I'd been at the counter the whole time, didn't have to leave for one quarter of ticket jam. I was like, this is great and it's only getting better as the summer's got busier and busier. Right. So life with the system is awesome. <laughs> it's like night and day. Not, not that it was unmanageable before, but it was, it, it was more labor, more headaches. We had tickets in storage. I had to buy two pallets of tickets a year, haul them back and forth. Uh, the ticket stations, you know, if you get a jam in one of those, you were in trouble. Um, the dust, I never realized how dusty the tickets are over, over time, but the arcade just seems a lot cleaner than it used to. Um, you don't have to worry about buying parts for your ticket stations or, or different coin mechs or different ticket mechs. So. Uh, I've got like four backup readers. If something goes wrong, you swap one out and it's done in five minutes and something running. Uh, it, it's, uh, the quality of life for the operator is much better. <laughs> uh, we're, up, we're up about 15% over last year. Uh, and it, honestly, it doesn't feel like we're working harder. It feels like it's been easier this year. We're able to do it with maybe 40 to 50% less labor. We used to have three at the counter, now we have two. Uh, we have a prizezilla, which is good. That on a really busy day, people go there, you you know, get their prize. Uh, probably the best decision we've made. Uh, it's one of those big decisions you make, and you immediately know the first day that you made the right decision. There was absolutely no buyer's remorse.